everybody in here, sitting here in the tiny house, having my coffee with all of you. The puppies are doing great together. In fact, I think Papa is far from a puppy. I think he's maybe an older dog. Either that or I, I think he may be sick. I don't know. I'm not sure. His energy has really perked up since he's got some food in him. By the way, I'm out of dog food and this dog is going to require a lot of dog food. So I'm going to pick up a big bag of dog food today. And um, I may pick up some bowls. I'm not sure because um, Judy just wants to get up in Papa's face when he's eating and he doesn't like that. So I may need to separate them when I feed them. Uh, a priority is getting him into the vet as soon as one opens and I can get a time slot in there. Um, I want to I want to have him check to see if he's been microchipped like many of you have suggested to make sure that there isn't an owner out there looking for him. If I do locate an owner, well, there's going to be some questions asked. I'm not going to just um, let them have their dog back unless I know that they are capable of taking care of him. You know what I mean? Especially if I pay a bunch of vet bills and whatnot. Um, I don't know how to go about that. Someone had told me I should call the Humane Society and just make sure everything is kosher. If I do find a uh, an owner... But here's the thing, this dog has been out in this neighborhood for weeks, you know, going through the streets, coming up on my property, going out over to Mr. Lucas' property, um, in and out of the woods and whatnot. Uh, and I, I put out notices here and there, and um, nobody's looking for a dog that meets this description. And like I said in my comment section on the last video, People just pull up and drop off animals on a street that, that is near mine and just leave them there. That's how Mr. Lucas got his Chapo. Uh, somebody actually saw them stopping on the street and letting the dog off into the woods. So, um, I don't think anybody's going to claim him, claim him, to be honest with you. So, I got to get to the store and get him some stuff. I may get him a bigger collar. <laughs> Judy doesn't even have a proper collar. She's just wearing her harness. Um, and just see how it goes. So here, let me show you a little bit of footage of them being cute this morning. If Judy wasn't playing with Papa, she would be doing the same exact thing to me. Or trying at any rate. You guys. You cool puppies. You giving each other kisses. Cool puppies. Yes. Uh -huh. See that bed there? Someone had given me a big, large, flump, fluffy, brand new comforter. And I've kind of folded it up, quartered it, and put that blanket over there. And it is just the right size for this big boy. I've invited him up to sleep in the bed. But he won't. He just won't come. So I put this down there and that's where he sleeps. Look at you. Oh, this brings me so much joy. <laughs> They've been going like this for at least 30 minutes. Hi, puppies. You good babies. And another thing. This guy here, Papa. He, last night, it was about midnight between 12, 12 and 1 a.m. He goes over by the door and he's whining and whining and whining. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to take you out right now. So I let him out on the lead. And he did not like being on the lead, the, the long lead that I usually let Judy out. She doesn't mind it. Um, and he, he just didn't like it. He didn't want to move around and stuff. So I took the lead off and just let him go do his business and I thought this dog isn't going to come back so I, I put on my boots and put on my coat got a flashlight out there in the pitch dark and uh, by the time I did all that he was already back up on my porch he had done his business apparently because when he came back inside he wasn't whining anymore and he was just ready to go to bed he laid down on the bed went to sleep he won't get up in the bed with me and Judy he just likes to sleep on the floor so, oh, I've got to vacuum this. I'm getting a new rug for this part. This rug right here just grabs on to the, the little particles that you see around here. I practically have to go and pick them out of the carpeting with my hands. So I'm getting a, a very basic rug. 
uh, for this area that I can basically just sweep off, that it doesn't have the big loops in it. So I won't have to vacuum every single day, sometimes twice a day. That's the least of my concern right now. Just look at them. They love each other. Well, we got in the car. There is... Hey, Papa. Come on. Can you look at us? <laughs> he is very timid about getting up in this vehicle. Um, so today I've only brought him with me because I wasn't sure how he's going to react. And Judy gets so, you know, excited and whatnot. But I figured the first time in the vehicle, we're just going to be me and Papa. So hopefully he'll like it. I actually had to lift him. I had to lift his front paws up and put them into the passenger side. Then I had to lift his hind quarters up and basically just shove him in. He didn't want to get in the car or the truck rather. So we're on the way to the store to get some doggy supplies. We made it home. This one did pretty good. He was a little nervous the whole time, but he did real well. Um, and what I wanted was one of those raised dog food bowls and waters that uh, have storage underneath, but they were like 40 bucks and I'm like, no way. So I went to Dollar General and I just got this little tub for about five bucks. And I've got a bunch of dog food down there in the bottom. I bought a big old 55 pound bag from Tractor Supply Company. And I got this little Christmas thing. I figure it's big enough for both of them to eat. Uh, for, I think it was a, a dollar, a dollar fifty. I've still got the old waterer, the old water bowl over here, but all right, all right, Papa. Um, but I, I'm going to probably put something else there that fits a little bit better, maybe holds a little bit more water. But this is perfect because they can both reach it and they don't have to bend all the way down to the ground. And this boy is hungry, and this is some good dog food. It's 55 pounds. It was only like, I don't know, maybe $18, $19. And I got him a new collar. Yes, I did. And I got him some tick treatment, flea and tick and mosquito and biting lice and all that kind of stuff. He's been treated for that, too. Um, so, he's doing pretty good. He just follows me around everywhere. I don't even need to keep him on a leash. Uh, I might check that collar to make sure it's not too tight. But, um, so far, he looks happy, and Judy is getting along with him real well. So, for now, i got a nice fire going. And the puppies are getting along, although <laughs> Papa wants to be left alone, so we're going to... Oh, and his old collar fits Judy perfectly, so, well, we're just going to see how the rest of this day goes. I think it's going swimmingly so far. Just wanted to show you the difference in their sleeping styles. Here's Miss Judy. She just loves, loves, loves to be kind of snuggled up in the blankets. She likes to be covered in blankets totally. In fact, sometimes she kind of like digs down um, underneath the blanket. Sometimes I wonder if she's going to smother, but she does not like the cold at all, and she loves to snuggle right next to me every single night. And here's Papa. He just likes to have his own space, and it's a good thing that that comforter, I could just quarter it, and that is the perfect size for him. He just likes to get on top of that and chill out. But sometimes, like right now, uh, I can't show you because I'm talking, but he is laying down by my feet, and he's not even on the bed. Um, he, I, he's got a lot more fur than Judy, so he doesn't really need to be all covered up and bundled up and whatnot. He's so sweet. It's been going really, really well. These two get along. The only time where I have to supervise is when they're eating because this big boy here, he just, he's so hungry and he doesn't want anybody else eating his food. So I have to moderate the, the eating because Papa will growl at her and I have to watch out very closely. So um, it's going to be a while before I will leave them alone in the tiny house together. Um, I'm hoping to be able to put both of them in the truck with me when I go places. We'll see how that goes, but um, I, I'm just going to play it safe and really supervise things very closely because, um, you know what, I don't know anything about this dog. All I know is he's very sweet with me. He follows me around everywhere, and I'm just looking forward to getting him in front of a vet. Uh, hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to get him in. I'm not sure. We're just going to have to wait and see. Um... But otherwise, I'm, I'm in heaven. So, yeah, I'll let you know how everything goes once he, he goes to the vet, whether or not he's microchipped, um, whether or not, you know, he has owners who want him back and whatnot. Um, 
I hope not. I mean, if they do, there's going to be some questions. Seriously, I'm going to have some questions about this dog and why he's been wandering the streets and wandering the woods and is tick infested and hungry and uh, I'm just looking at him right now. Beautiful, beautiful dog and Judy seems to really, really love him too. So that's a bonus. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.